You're just going to scream? Okay. You're just going to keep screaming. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer. My pronouns are he, they, and I am a teen with a passion for animal rescue and, in particular, kitten rescue. Okay, you went down. Okay, I get it. I get it. But you still want me to pet you. You're so sweet. So that was chaotic, but that's how it is around here. So I haven't posted it in like a week and a half, two weeks maybe, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but a lot has changed since I last uploaded because some of those videos were pre recorded. So you actually haven't seen me film in like a month. So yeah, my kittens are a lot bigger. The last time you saw June and Carden, they were in tubs and now they're just free roaming around my basement because they're so big. And Bingo was in her incubator and she was, was she alone? I think she was alone. She's not alone anymore. I also might've gotten a friend for Bingo and then seven more kittens. So, I have a lot of new kittens to introduce to you. If you're following me on Instagram, you will have seen them already. But if you don't, then you might not have seen them because I also have not fully posted them on TikTok yet. Oops. So look at this big girl. This big girl is almost big enough to be spayed. And then she will be up for adoption. She's already had her professional pictures taken, her and Carden, so they will be advertised with the rescue I work with this week. So yeah, they're, they're almost ready to leave. They're so big. Which, yeah, I got a lot of new kittens. So if you've seen my other videos, you know that Bingo is alone now, or was alone, she was alone. And I, I needed a friend for her because she was really lonely, and so, I was just talking to my rescue director and she was like, oh, I happen to have a kitten that is exactly Bingo's age. And I was like, give me. And he's so cute. So I'm gonna, don't bite me. That was a play bite, of course. She's not aggressive at all. She's purring as she bites me, actually. Ma'am, we do not bite. That's not what we do around here. She just bit me again, okay. I will introduce you to the kittens meowing in just a second, but first I'm gonna take you out and I'm gonna introduce you to my oldest new kitten. So before I do the big reveal, I'm gonna show you Smee to kind of explain something. So I've started letting my older kittens out of the foster room once I know they're healthy, and that's mostly because I like to play with kittens. That's the only reason. And you know, it's nice to give them a little more space. But that is only kittens I know are healthy, That because I don't want to have to sanitize my big space after every litter. So we see Cardin. He was in my other videos, but he was a lot smaller. And then we have Bingo. 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 Look how big she is. She's massive. And she's... She's gonna walk on Cardin, okay. But then this is my new baby, Tofu. Tofu, look, look at me, look at me. So this is Tofu. Tofu, look at me. Tofu, there we go. So that is Tofu, he's a very sweet boy. He's about Bingo's age, they're about six weeks now. And they are friends. Oh, are you gonna sniff the camera? Anyway, that is him. So, those were the big kitties, um, which you're probably like, those were so small, but to a foster that fosters neonatal kittens, they're pretty big, especially since Bingo is like 600 grams now, and she was like less than 100 grams when I got her. So yeah, she's big. But now I'm gonna show you my little babies. They're about three weeks old. Well, hi Jude, you're back. I'm just gonna hold her. No, I'm not gonna hold her because she does not want to be held. But yes, yeah, so I was asked if I wanted to take a three-week-old kitten around the time when Bingo was like three and a half weeks. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. Well, Bingo might have been four weeks. I just thought she was three and a half or three weeks because I have no concept of time. I'm so bad at remembering my kitten's ages. I have to set like alarms for how old they are because no concept of time here. But I agreed to take a kitten that I thought was around Bingo and Tofu's age because I was like, well, after a quarantine, we can put them together. 
Turns out, the people who found this kitten did not know how to age kittens, which is fine. It's a specialty skill. But that means he was younger than we thought, and he's like a lot smaller. So I was like, well, I can't put him with Bingo and Tofu. Bingo and Tofu can go with Karin and Jude because they're so big. I was like, well, I'll probably just... I didn't know what I was gonna do. I definitely was not looking actively for more kittens to take, but I went to my rescue director's house to get Jude and Karin their vaccine. Sorry, I get so distracted by kittens. And she's like, oh, do you want more kittens? The first thing I asked, I think, was like, how old? And she's like, three weeks. And I'm like, oh, that's wolf sage, okay. And then I'm like, how many? And she just goes, a few. And I'm like, okay, that means there's gonna be a lot of them. But I was like, just, just show me them. Just show them to me because, and at this point I kind of already knew that I was a goner and that I was going to take them because once I see kittens, it's hard for me to say no. I can say no if I don't see the kittens, but once I've seen the kittens, I'm like, yeah, I'll take them. So I see them. There's six. There is six of them. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take them. Which was probably not the smartest decision on my part, but I said yes, and I have them, so there's that. But I'm gonna show you these kittens, um, because they're very cute. And I went ahead and put Wolf with them, because Wolf was almost done with his quarantine, and he was also healthy at the place he was before, so the quarantine was kind of unnecessary. And the other kittens that I took had already been in my rescue director's house for two weeks, so their quarantine was up. And these kittens are about three weeks. Wolf is about three and a half, four weeks. I don't remember, honestly. He's about 100 grams bigger than them, 100, 150 grams bigger than them, which is fine. He's like bigger, but he's not like too much bigger. He's, he's okay with them. But it's hard to tell these guys apart. They're all black and white, except for Wolf. And there's actually two litters in the black and white kittens. There is one kitten that is from a different litter than five black and white kittens, but the one kitten from a different litter is also black and white. And then there's Wolf, who's gray and white. So let me show you, let me show you. Oh, but before I do that, no one is gonna judge me on the state of their playpen. I clean out their puppy pads like three to four times a day. Like I change them out. They don't know how to use the litter box yet. So, that some of them are using it. Some of them are not. So no judgment here. This is a judgment-free zone. Thank you. Because I literally just changed them out like 20 minutes ago and they're, they're, they've already used them again. So I'm like, I'm not changing this out again. Anyway. Bubbles. I just fed them. They're acting like they have not been fed ever, but I did just feed them. So this right here is Jinya. I'm going to name all of them and then I will tell you the name theme. See if you can guess it. And then this right here, I can't tell who that is because I see only black. And I won't show you Wolf right now because he's using the potty like a big boy. This right here is Nikolai. He's the one that's from a separate litter. He's good boy. Then we have our purry and messy girl, Alina. She's very sweet. And sorry if this is not in focus, I don't want to hold these kittens too long because they don't really like it. But this is Tolia. This is Tamar. She's very sweet. All of them are very sweet. Then we have Zoya. She's making little biscuits. Very sweet. Then who haven't I shown yet? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I think I showed them all except Wolf. And this is Wolf. You can see he's a little bit bigger and he looks different because he's gray and white and not black and white. But these are the beans. And they are named after Shadow and Bone. Wolf is just, I thought he looked like a little wolf. That's why he's named that. I wanted to do Mal too, but there weren't enough kittens. And I was okay with there not being any more kittens because this is a lot of kittens already. So yes, I currently have 11 foster kittens, with seven of those being bottle babies. I love it, totally. I'm not missing my sleep at all. But I do love to do it and choose to do it, so I know I complain about lack of sleep, but really it's like my choice, so I'm not really complaining about it too much. But yes, that is going to be it for today's video. I just wanted to show you my new kittens. Um, I'm gonna try and post regularly again because I love doing it, but I just... Sometimes don't feel like it and I don't like to push myself too much, you know? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more kitten-related content. I upload on Sundays and on Wednesdays if I can, and if I can't, then I upload whenever I am able to. Also, please make sure to leave any thoughts or questions that you have down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching again, and goodbye!